Hi, I'm Dr. Allison Rogers, and I'm here with Dr. Lucky Seacon. And we are fertility doctors, and we wanted to go over the do's and don'ts of the two week wait. So, if you didn't know, the two week wait is the time between the time where you either had your insemination or had your embryo transfer to the time you do your pregnancy test. And it can be grueling to get through those 10 days because you're trying to figure out if you're pregnant or not. So we wanted to go through a couple of tips. Yes, hopefully these tips will make your life easier because the two week wait can be a doozy. Yes. Right. So do you want to do do's? Sure, okay. I think my first do is if you were instructed to take medications like hormones such as estrogen and or progesterone, to help support your lining, to support an early embryo because you didn't ovulate on your own, whatever the reason you were told to take the medications, keep taking them. Don't assume that it didn't work or that you're not pregnant if you happen to have spotting. That could be implantation bleeding. If you take an early test, maybe it's a little too early to actually pick up the pregnancy hormone, HCG. So whatever you do, keep taking your meds until you're directed otherwise. My second do is take your prenatal vitamins. That's the one major thing that we want you to be taking in preparation for and after the transfer because it has essential nutrients and vitamins and important things like folic acid, which is a great way to set yourself up for a successful, healthy pregnancy. And then lastly, um, I'd say my biggest do is beyond continuing to take your medication, stay distracted right? Distraction is your friend because the two-week wait can be very hard on your mental health. So I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to have a staycation because you feel like you'll be less stressed and it's more likely to work. I think you're more likely to obsess over every little thing. So my advice is, you know, keep working if you derive pleasure from your work. Keep staying in your routine. Um, set up, you know, social um, things to do with your friends. Maybe, you know, set up things that you enjoy doing um, for yourself, like self-care or even just watching Netflix, like get into a show that you can binge during the two-week wait. Yes. Okay, let's talk about don'ts. So these are all the fun things. So no nicotine, marijuana, alcohol. It's not needed during this time. Also, no sex. I would avoid any orgasms as well. Um, also, no strenuous exercise. And the biggest one is try not to... Go down a Google rabbit hole and sort of read too much into the symptoms you're having. Yeah, there's so much overlap between the progesterone and the effects it can have 100%. on your body and certain types of pregnancy symptoms. So there's no use trying to decipher which is which. You're just going to drive yourself crazy. Yeah. Good luck.